Cue the music. YouTubers, it's me, Gary, and Nick. Here we are. Uh, let's get to it because we got a lot of cool stuff this week. Absolute Why the Last Man from Whoa. Brian K. Vaughn, Pia Guerra, et al. Look That's the that. second volume. That's the second volume. Check it out. Uh, Adventures of Supergirl, trade Whee. paperback. Two Doctor. Oh no, that's a Doctor Strange and a Strange Tales hardcover. I think they're the same book. It's the, the same omnibus, just different covers. I they? see. Oh, okay. All right. That makes sense. A Supergirl coloring book. Uh, Christmas is coming. One guy pointed out, this one is nicer than some of the others because it's it's a lot of nice of the pinup style stuff instead of just... Sequential a, art that you yeah, have to color. Yeah, which with, it's got so much shading, it's hard to do. Yeah, right. Uh, Christmas is coming. Buy that for somebody that you love. Action Man. Action Man. Adventure Time. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Gee, that cover looks familiar. Yeah. Aliens. Amazing Spider-Man. See what happens when you don't build a wall? Look at Yeah, that's what happens. Aliens. <laughs> Do you want aliens? Because that's how you get aliens. And then, you know what you get with uh, those new Apple AirBuds? What's that? You get cyborgs. Just ask that, Archer. That, that, that's Do how you, you want, get cyborgs. Do you want cyborgs? Because that's how you get cyborgs. X-Men 4. That's the Civil War miniseries. I don't need your Civil War. Cyborg. Speaking of, Cyborg. See? And Cyborgs. It's starting already. Jesus Christ, it's Skynet. Uh, Dark Horse presents The Black Sinister by Carr Andrews. I like Carr Andrews. Ooh. Oh, my. Dark Tales from the Volksverse. The, the People's Oops. Verse. What? Deadpool versus Gambit. Look at it, he's got kind of an iron fisty yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, I hate Fairyland. That book is just fun. And by the way, we do keep the variants behind the covers that say, "quote unquote, fuck Fairyland." Yeah. So if you ever want those, you have to ask for the person form from the person behind the counter. We don't set them out for the kids. Yeah. It's for we get the kids. kids that come in here with their parents and they see that cartoony art and they think, "I love it." Mom, will you buy me fuck Fairyland? <laughs> Can't do it, kids. No. Can't do it. Injustice. If you want to buy it for your kids, that's up to you. Yeah. But. We're not judged. We don't judge. Won't, we don't judge, but it won't be our decision. International Iron Man, Bendis and Malie. Invader Zim. Uh, Invisible Republic. I honestly didn't know that book was still going. It's a thing. Nightwing, look at that cover. Oh, it's the Monster Man tie-in. Nothing like being barely six issues into six issues into a and then have to and, and already squeeze doing yourself a tie into a tie-in. Hellcat, Patsy Walker, aka Hellcat. My pick of the week, Power Man and Iron Fist, one of the best superhero books out there right now. Very excited about it. I like it a lot. It was a good issue. Oh, I love it. Powerpuff Girls. Because I actually read my comics last night. You read your comics last I, night? I did. Nick. This is so unlike you. Joe's pick of the week, Punisher Joe's pick of the week is The Punisher. Hmm. Ironically enough. Superman. You know, yeah. if you do that, though, with your barbed wire, people are going to know who lives there. Yeah, that's really a bad way to keep your identity secret. Yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Amazing Adventures, the all-ages animated style uh, version of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And then we've got regular Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And then we've got uh, Transformers Till All Are One. Everything's in the Hasbro world is coming up to the revolution. The revolution, which I'll speak about in a second. Trinity, look at that. That's Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman. Uh, my, my problem with the revolution is I really like the property mask. Me too. And I, I want to see the book, but they made 
And I, normally I don't care about when they change a, a character's gender or color. I don't really care about that stuff because I just want to read a good story. But they made Matt Tracker a black guy, which I'm okay with black guys most of the time. But <laughs> I shouldn't say I'm, I'm actually okay with black guys. But, like, the mask property was one of the properties that was pretty diverse right off the bat. You know what I mean? They had women, they had uh, Hispanic people, they had uh, African Americans, they had everything. They had Asian guys, they had everything. So it was pretty diverse off the bat. There was no really real need to... to it seems they just changed the fact that the, the leader... Yeah, right. It's, it's not black. So. I, my only problem with it is I don't really want to... I like math too, but I don't want something that's starting in a, in yeah, a I don't, crossover yeah, mini-series event. I don't want them to be in the same universe as My Little Pony either. Yeah. That's probably my biggest problem with Mask. Um, look at this sweet, sweet From Hell hardcover. Uh, and we've got a hardcover of Jim Henson's Labyrinth Tales from Arkea, I, I would imagine. Yes. Yep. Uh, Justice League, Volume 8 in the hardcover and Volume 7 in the trade paperback. And then we've got this Books A Million exclusive Cthulhu. For all you, you know, pagan worshippers. That's me. Uh, Ancient Dreams. Well, J.P. Rock. I've seen her set up at uh, shows. Oh, yeah? Eric's pick of the week, Aquaman. Archie, Archie, uh, The Trial of the Astonishing Ant-Man. I don't know if this is the last issue or if they have one more, but Ant-Man is coming to a close. Mm -hmm. It's kind of sad. I like that book a lot. Batman. It's the kickoff of the Monster Men. Monster Men. Demonic. Empty Spot. Doctor Fate. Empress. Extraordinary X-Men. Annual. annual. That's the annual. Uh, Jack Boot and Iron Heel. Build a wall! Um, Gem and the holograms. I really didn't mean that I'm only okay with black people part of the time. It's just something I said. Now I feel bad about it. Judge Dredd. See, and there lies the <laughs> what makes you different than others. Is. Yeah, right, right. Uh, Justice League. I hate people on an individual basis, ladies and gentlemen. You're, I per, don't, you're an equal opportunity hater. I do not have to generalize because if I talk to you long enough, I will find something about you that I hate, mm -hmm. and I will latch onto that like grim death and hate you from beyond the grave. You guys don't believe. You Does probably it? don't believe me, but we hate each other. We oh, hate. We, oh, oh, there's burning. nobody I hate more than Nick. Oh, oh he's the worst. Karnak. But yeah, I, I want well, to clarify only, that. There's only one person we hate more, but I mean... Yeah, well... <laughs> Raven. Raven. Karnak is finally out. I guess I should have said, hey, Karnak is finally out, Karnak. There, hey, one more issue concludes the story arc that's that taken... That started four years ago. Yeah. No, about four years ago. Empty Spot. Uh, Revisionist. From Frank Barbieri. Bill's pick of the week. Revolution. That's your crossover, Transformers, G.I. Joe, ROM, Action Man, uh, uh, Mask. Mask. It's a lot. It's a lot, ladies and gentlemen. Rick and Morty, Lil Poopy Superstar. <laughs> I've been called that. <laughs> oh, mercy. Uncanny X-Men? All villains. Why? Why? Practically yeah. all villains. My biggest problem with the X-Men franchise is when they have a really cool villain, they make him an X-Man. Yeah. You got your Magneto, your Sabretooth, your White Queen, your Mystique, your you know, stop. Ruins them. You've got great villains. Use them as villains. Just because people like them, you know, oh well, they can't like villains. No, uh, uh, you know no, what? People can like villains. You can uh, still like watch villains. Training Day. There you go. Mic drop. Mic drop. Uncle Scrooge. Uh, Everyone liked Uncle Scrooge. You want to tell me about a villain? Oh, he's Donald Trump. Come on. He swam in, in money. How do you swim in nickels, For first of all? Because that shit hurts. Mm. Uh, Venom Space Knight. The Vision. Look at that. Is that one of the Gamma Dogs from the first Hulk movie? <laughs> that would be awesome. Uh, vote Loki. Might, how, how could it be worse? <laughs> he might get some write-ins. <laughs> I'm planning on writing him in. Look at these pops. Zebra and Bullseye Batman. Yeah, I, don't, I don't understand that. But uh, here's Captain America Civil War. Here's a cool Spider-Man pop and Hawkeye. And um, 
Captain America and Iron Man. So there you go. Look at this sweet, sweet Batman uh, or DC Bombshell Batgirl Halloween themed statue. It's actually really cool. Oh, it does look cool. Uh, look at Howard the Duck Dorb. Oh. And then we've got Cosmo from Guardians of the Galaxy, Batgirl, White Canary, and Hawkman. Then we've got, uh, look at this, uh, director's cut, Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. Because they need six more dollars of your money. They will probably get it from a lot of people. We got a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles rabid fans here oh, yeah. at Bill's Books. A lot. Like, I thought it was okay when I was a kid. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. But, There's okay. a lot. Black Eyed Kids. That's a kid that didn't learn his lesson the first time. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I was going to say it's Fergie and Will I Am. Oh. Black Hammer. It's like it's like the little rascals, but only it's like you know, like the baby X Men, but only it's the little black eyed peas. That would be I would, would be. I, I would almost read that book. Yeah. Brick, oh little apple the app. Britannia, look at that. Carrie Nord. It's the new uh, new one from uh, Ryan. Check out Carrie Nord's art. He's good. I was I was sad to hear uh, uh, they said that Eternal Warrior. There's a story arc and it will end. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's not good. No. G.I. Joe. It's a great cover. Oh, I love G.I. Joe. Some kids were transforming. Now, see, I was a G.I. Joe fan when I was growing up. So I can't even read the books anymore because I know once they started killing off all the, the original characters, like Breaker was my favorite character and they killed him off. I can't read it. I can't. My problem because was... Because then I'll just be mad at what's going on in the book. With G.I. Joe, I was into the modern retakes and that and all that. And sure. I enjoyed them for a while. But what happened was... Apparently, G.I. Joe could never win. Yeah. Not one single one of those stories did G.I. Joe actually win. Worst elite troops I ever. <laughs> uh, Green Arrow. But yeah, I can't, like, I don't want to be bitter about the. I, if I don't enjoy a comic book, I, I, I just stop reading it. I don't want to be, I don't want to feel like somebody pressured me to buy it every month and then be bitter about it. Oh, and that's, I just, that's stop you just stop buying it. <laughs> I just stop buying it. <laughs> Sorry, that was Green Arrow. I'm sorry, I kind of glossed over that because I was in the I was in mid GI Joe rant. Green Lanterns, um, Robin Hood. She's nice. She's not as nice as that. Wonderland, the finale. Mm. Oh, this is a great book, King's Way West. That was it was really good. You should definitely check this book yeah. out. It's really really good. It's western with magic. Two great tastes that taste great together. Lone Ranger and the Green Hornet. A good mix of East, West. It, the world he created, it it tells itself without him having to go into all this, like, pages of backstory. Right. You get it from the right. characters. Right. Which is important, because I loved East of West, but I never had any idea what was going on in oh, it. I never had a clue. Yeah. Uh, Manifest Destiny is a book that I really like. And this story arc is part five of six. They're fighting one-eyed cannibalistic Sasquatches. As you do. As you do. Uh, Spider-Man, Ultimate Spider-Man versus the Sinister Six. Mechanism. Mm. Mechanism is what I said. The No Effects, Volume 2, One Shot, Rock and Roll Comic. There you go. Come on. How do you not like that? You, it probably isn't going to be great, but I mean, you still kind of have to have it, don't you? Right. Like, I wish they would make more of the Rock and Roll Comics. But the bands I like would never be in a rock and like nobody would give a shit but me. Uh, Rom, there's Rom. Revolution starts here. I wish they were all in a big crossover that was Dance Dance Revolution. Ooh. Now you're talking because I could see Rom really putting it down. Here's another Rom. That's the Revolution Rom one shot. One shot. Look at that cover. That's a good cover though. There's a Rob Liefeld cover too. Oh, Rob Liefeld, Cincinnati Comic Expo this weekend. And you see Stan Lee is going to actually do the next C2E2 as well. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, Rumble. Rumble, young man, Rumble. Seven to Eternity. He's the, playing a flute. It's the new one from the uh, team that brought you the Uncanny X-Force that everyone liked. Do that. Remender. You know. Empty Spot. Weird Love. Siren of the Tropics. It's nice work if you can get it. It is. Yeah. The Wicked and the Divine. That's a cool cover. Yeah, that's a good cover. Um, All New Wolverine. Got that. 
Dennis's pick of the week, the Wonder Woman 77 special. See, gentlemen. now someone pointed out to me too, why is the special also issue four? That's strange. It is odd. How is it special? How is a one shot issue four? Uh, holy crap, Golden Girls. We've got Blanche, Sophia, and Rose. For all of you Golden Girl fans, Apparently. I also saw a New York City Comic Con exclusive reaction Golden Girl figures. Nice. A whole box set of the four of them. Be even cooler if they came with the kitchen table. Yeah, that would be good. And some cheesecake, a little cheesecake. There you go. For a lanai. Could there be a lanai? I would like to see a Stan's Bornak reaction figure. Yeah. I would buy the shit out of that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Arrow, Speedy with sword. Speedy's got a sword there. Here's Proto Man, Proto Man from Mega Man and Ellen Ripley um, from Aliens. Uh, we've also got a Vinyl Vixen Suicide Squad Harley Quinn or what everyone's going to dress up as for, for Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. We've got a Batfleck figure. That's pretty good. We've got Ludo from Labyrinth. If you don't like that, you're not American. No, you're not. There's no opinions necessary in that. No. You gotta like that. You like Labyrinth, or you, you, you or, know, get, or, or you're, you're a communist. Wrong, you're wrong yeah. all over the place. Captain America: Serpents Unite, the classic uh, uh, Serpent Society, Serpent Society uh, storyline from Captain America, which was good. Carnage. That. I, I really hope Carnage goes somewhere here soon, or ends, or something, because it's, it's yeah. getting to the point where I just don't care. Sure. Chew, reaching the end of its run. Civil War II, Bendis, Marquez, etc. Et crap! Crap! <laughs> I'm sorry. That's under my throat. Got a little crap caught in your throat. Uh, Civil War II, Choosing Sides. There's Jessica Jones. That bodes well. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Nice, nice. Arthur Adams cover. It's so amazing that he's the, he might be the greatest comic book artist of all time. Uh, next, maybe Frank Avila. Well, maybe next to Frank Avila. Harley Quinn. I mean, he's just a genius. Yeah, but good. we have some work from another very, very genius dude coming up that we're going to show you. Hellboy and the BPRD, 1954. Horizon. I don't know what that is. Hot damn. Hot damn. Ryan Farrier, he's a good writer. Mickey Mouse shorts. Goofy's looking a little bit rough. Yeah, yeah. that's what all that anti-Semitism will exactly. get you. Exactly, <laughs> Lindsay Lohan disease. Micronauts. Um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, the Mighty Thor. Um, I, w I think it's irresponsible of Thor to bring somebody who's obviously afflicted into battle. Mm. That's irresponsible, Thor. The mm. Mighty Irresponsible Thor. Miraculous, look at that. That's weird looking. Look at that. Or someone said it's French. Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. Um, empty spot. All right, this. Sydney Hammer. Look. Look. It. She's got big. Right on the cover, okay, but then flip it open. Oh yeah. Everywhere she is. Just nips. Everywhere. She's Every... like she's like Jennifer Aniston. Look, I I. Listen, who doesn't love nipples? Hey, d I, I'm pretty sure the guy drew her topless, and then just and then someone said, "Hey man, we can't sell that if she ain't got a shirt on." Right, because here, like, because uh, look, I get maybe the nipple, but the areola. <laughs> Those must be some pretty powerful are areoli. Come on, <laughs> I mean, believe me, if you know somebody who has areola like that. I'd like to see it just to see if it's physically possible. Hey. Purely scientific research purposes, but I don't Pure scientific. It. Yeah. Send pictures. Uh, Star Trek, New Visions, Swarm. Is that one of the photo? Yeah. yeah. Like, that's one of the photo books. I don't like writing a script for pictures that are already taken. Yeah, you don't have to pay an artist. you got to pay a guy to cut the pictures out. Yeah. Collage work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Suicide Squad Most Wanted, El Diablo. And El Boomerang. Diablo. Diablo. El Diablo. That's David Putty. That's right. It's El Diablo. You gotta support the team. Yeah. Uh, super fuckers forever. Look at that. Gotta read the cover. Got to. Listen, how are you gonna know? How are you gonna know? And we've also got, See for all that. you highbrows out there, <laughs> Zombie Tramp. Zombie Tramp doesn't try to be more than what Zombie Tramp is. Zombie Tramp knows its niche. Yeah. It knows its niche. It doesn't try to paint. I mean, she's got a highbrow, risque cover, and it's... Sure. But she doesn't try to paint Areola in. No. 
and then there's another one of those statues. So that's what we got for books this week. Let's see if we get. I don't see even see anything up here. Oh, I moved it because the guy put it on hold. You want to show it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's what I wanted to show. You. Yes. The, the coolest thing we got in this week. It's already spoken for, but uh, Bill Simkevich, the New Mutants Artist Select Series. His work on New Mutants, revolutionary, groundbreaking. Some of the greatest comic art of all time. Bill Sienkiewicz is a genius and also a nice guy. I shared an elevator ride with him once, and he couldn't have been more gracious. Yeah, he's cool. Because I was like, oh, my God, you're that guy that does this stuff. And he was like, I am that guy that does this stuff. How are you? So you should buy this if you like art that is actually artistic. And these, these books like this, they're already book-plated and signed inside. Right. They're book-plated and signed, and they only appreciate in value. Yeah. I'm guessing. So anyway, uh, that's all we have this week. Uh, this weekend is going to be a big weekend. Uh, Bill will be set up at Cincinnati Comic Expo uh, with his better half, and they will be um, down there. And I will be down there on Sunday with the Golden Child and the, the local art sensations, the Franklin Brothers. We're going to be down there nerding out over Stan Lee and Rob Liefeld and Steve McNiven and Basil Gogos and all these crazy Eric people. Eric asked if I wanted to go, but... I told him, well, seeing as how I have to actually open the store on Sunday. I'm sure he asked you before he asked me. Wow. But anyway, and then on Saturday is the uh, the Hall of Fame City Comic Con featuring George Perez, Howard Chaikin, uh, Ryan Minerding, I mean, Jim Steranko. Yeah. What else do you need? So we're going to be out in force. We're going to be fighting a war on two fronts this weekend, Cincinnati and Canton. I'm going to be in Canton on Saturday, and, nerd uh, it up in Cincinnati on Sunday. Also, just today tomorrow and saturday uh sponsored from the cleveland library and oh, yes. the kent state they're doing a wonder woman 75th symposium up yeah. there at kent i mean all kinds of uh today i believe they'll have phil jimenez they've phil got jimenez amanda connors and jimmy palmietti via skype Beautiful. um they're going to do round tables then phil jimenez will be signing at carol and john's later tonight that's that's even a shout out to our somewhat competition because We're that's a cool away. event. That's a cool event, man. Yeah, that's the the Wonder Woman thing this weekend is a cool event. If you can't make it to a show but you want something and you want to learn about all things cool Wonder thing. Woman this weekend up towards Kenton, Canton and Akron or Akron and yeah. Cleveland. So uh, definitely check that out if you can. Um, I think we've rambled enough. I think we've rambled enough. So we're going to leave you guys uh, with this. Uh, stay nerdy, my friends. Toodles! Bidi, bidi, bidi. No, I can't do it. <laughs>